Hello everyone, welcome to Geotech. Mm-hmm, a Geotech. In this video, we're looking at the Cambridge Assessment International Education, IGCC, Information and Communication Technology with the course code 04171 and the variant is variant 12, October, November 2023, paper 1 theory. Okay, we're looking at the theory aspect of it. So I'm just going to do the name for right now. And I'm just going to write down my name. Be a good student, right? Okay. This is a, a child tech. Okay. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. My center number is A N zero one seven. This is a generic center number. No school has it. Candidate number is 20, Okay. So, please, the instructions are very important. Go to the instructions. And the total mark for this paper is 80. All right. Question one. Tick one external device. Now, you're going to see this in, as the culture has always been, for each question, I get to tell you where you see it in the, uh, in the test book, right? And I have my test book open down here. Okay. So just in case I have it right here. Okay. This is the latest edition of the test book. Okay. That will be used in 2023 slash 2025, even to 2028 syllabus. Okay. Just open the scheme of work. So I have the scheme of work right here. Okay. I have the scheme of work right here okay so this is going to be chapter one you see this in chapter one of the test book okay types and copies of the computer system now this falls under hardware when we talk about hardware what do we mean hardware is the physical is the physical component component that makes up a typical computer. Now, this hardware has two types. Types, okay, one is the internal and two is what? The external. What we are talking here is the external, okay? You need to know that the external. Now, the internal uh, component are the ones that are found inside, right, the system unit. They're found inside the system unit. Okay, this is very, very important. The external are the ones that are outside, they are the peripheral. So, tick one external device. This is internal. This is internal. This is internal. The pen drive is external. And pen drive is also a type of um, flash drive. Okay, so hope that makes sense. All right, question two. A computer uses both analog and digital data. Now, this is also chapter one of the test book. This is also chapter one of the test book. Explain what is meant by this type of data. When we talk about analog data, they are... First thing that comes to mind, they are continuous, okay, data. You see right here, okay, so talk about the hardware, okay, scroll down to where you see it, um, this should be somewhere, yes, okay, so the hardware of Analog is what continuous. Look at it. Now, however, data is real. Actually, analog is the physical data that changes what smoothly from one value to the next. So they are continuous. Okay? They are continuous. All right. Digital data, on the other hand, is what I said is often referred to as digital. Computer can only understand data which are what in binary word form. Okay, this is often 
referred to as what? Because they are what? It can only have what? Discrete, discontinuous values. Okay? So this is what? Discrete data. So binary are what? Discrete or discontinuous what? Data. Right here. Okay? Or discontinuous values. Okay. Data data is processed in a computer system. Sometimes data need to be converted to analog data. Explain why this data may need to be converted to analog. Okay. The first thing that comes to mind is explain why data may need to be converted to analog data is so that it can be sent to an actuator. Now, what's an actuator? An actuator is a motor, right, that helps to open and close, right, or move in a particular order. Okay? It is also to control an external device. So, for others, for others, it can be what? To control. An external to control what? an external device this is why it is seen that's the reason why it needs to be converted remember when analog is converted to digital it's so that the computer can understand that data when it's being converted to analog it's so that it can be able to control for example if you're going close to a door and the door opens up it's because there's a proximity sensor that sends that information, sends the computer, and it's okay. And it checks, the, there's a control software which checks the preset value to see, okay, if someone is close to it, then open the door. Okay, so this is why this is important. And this is also chapter one. Okay, so it's chapter one as well. Use the most appropriate phrase from the list to complete the sentence. Your answer must be different in each case. Okay. A motor is used to... What's a motor? We'll talk, we'll talk about, when you talk about motor, what is to is to open something. That's what a motor is done. There are actuators is to open or close. Let's see. A motor is analog data, digital data, display graph on the monitor, input the maximum safe water level, um, control image. Open, yeah, open. And the first one, open. Open the windows. In what? In a greenhouse. Okay. Let's move, scroll down to the next. A DSC output, what? What is the DSC output? This is, this is to analog converter. So what is Output, what? Analog details. Analog what? Data. A sensor is used to what? A sensor is used to what? Input the maximum. Let me see. A sensor. Let me see. Control major activity level in the water. Control humidity level. So what? A sensor will do here. Okay, let me see. Do we have other ones? Okay, no. The sensor is used to. Now we have various kinds of sensors. Um, pressure, temperature. Okay, I'm just I'm measure acidity. Okay, because we have pH. It measures. It doesn't control. Mm -mm. It doesn't. If, if here was measure, I would have picked this, but it doesn't control. It measures. Okay. So that's why I'm picking this. It measures. Okay, let me do this. So I can see what I'm writing. Okay, so it measures.
acidity levels in the river okay okay describe three different networks communication device and describe what each does so this is chapter four this describe three different network communication so this is chapter four which is what networks and the effects of using them okay you see that there So the first one I want to talk about here is a hub. Okay. A hub. So what a hub does is to connect nodes or computers So that data can be broadcast. To all devices. Okay. Now the whole essence of this is for the hub, it connects computers to a network. It connects so that it can broadcast. Now you see that here, chapter four of the mm -hmm. textbook. Okay, right here. That's it, right? So if you can have what numbers of devices connected to them, they are used probably to connect devices together to form a local area network. Now it will take the point for you and broadcast it to every device is connected to. So they can what they can do is to connect devices to a what? To a network. That is what they do. Okay. The next one I want to talk about is switch. Okay, so switch allows devices or data packet to be sent to a specific what device. It's an integer version of home, right? It connects a number of the devices together to form a land, right? And it switch stores the MAC address right here on the network. So in summary, look at the summary here. A switch sends data packet to specific devices what only. Right? So a switch allows allows data packets to be sent to be sent to what specific device only They also connect networks for others. If you want to add others, both of them for others, they connect computers together to what form a LAN. This means local area network okay you get it right let's talk about the second the third one i want to talk about um bridge or router bridge or router bridge let me talk about bridge 
okay so for a bridge it connects multiple land now this one does for bridge is connected to um, land to form a single land and also for bridge no it's right here okay it connects what device okay devices that connects one land it connects one land to another that uses what the same protocol or communication rule so connects multiple land to function as a single land okay for other okay allows okay devices that connect devices it connects okay no it connects one land to another land using the same protocol or what communication word or communication rule okay or communication rule So I hope that makes sense. There's also router, and obviously for router, what it does is it allows LANs to be connected to an external network, which is your internet. Question four: A teacher is creating a database for a class library. The teacher types the details of each book into the database. The teacher has created numbers of records. So here we have book number, name of book, publisher, date acquired, ISP. Identify and describe a validation check based on the data shown in the database table. Okay, each could be applied to the data as it entered into each of the fields. Each validation check must be different. So let's do that. So I have a validation check here. Um, so for book number, the validation check is going to be type check. Okay, so I have type check. Okay. I have type slash character check. Okay, so what's the description for it? Let's talk about it. Now, this is going to be what's the chapter? You see this in chapter 7. System development life cycle, and you see it at the design phase. Okay, to be more specific, you see it in validation routines. Okay, validation routines. Okay, so for the type of a character check, right? Each data entered. Okay, must be what? Be an integer. Okay. Data acquired, let's see. Data acquired is format check. Format check and what's the description for the data card format check? It must be in the same format, okay? 
So the first two numbers, first two numbers, okay, followed by a slash, then next two numbers, that's the description, next two numbers followed by a slash, okay, then four numbers, okay, four numbers, okay, then four numbers. So this is the structure, that is dd slash mm slash y, 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 okay? ISB is check digit. And check digit has three errors that I checked for. Okay, so description, the number is calculated. Or rather, let me get my so the number is checked. Okay, number is checked by calculation. Okay, of all, let me see, of all the separate digits entered. Okay. So what are the errors that the check digit does? It checks to see that if the uh, the last two digits have been transposed during input, it checks if it's an incorrect number has been added. It checks if there's a missing number. Okay, a missing number. Okay, where is it? That's chapter seven. I think I'm right here. And okay, let's look at the chapter seven real quick. Yes. Okay, so right here. Okay. An incorrect digit has been entered. Okay. And also an ink a digit has been missed out, an extra digit added. So that's what the check digit does. And extra digit added to a number which is being calculated from other digits. A group of people is planning to create a newsletter for a history report, for a history project rather. A group of people is planning to create a newsletter for a history project. The group can either use a smartphone or a tablet computer. Explain what is meant by tablet. Now, this is what we you see this in chapter one. Okay, under the types and copy of the computer, you're going to see this in types of what mobile computers. Okay, mobile computers. When you have laptop, um, tablet, tablet, and smartphone. So, what is meant by tablet? Now, we'll look at tablet. Okay. Let's see. I think it was, was it explained here? Yes. So, we can see, we can see this ourselves. Laptop, smartphone. 
Look at it. They said so. They said smartphones have not been designed as a hybrid. Designed as a hybrid between a tablet and a smartphone, which is referred to as what a phablet. So, phablets are what smartphones and what tablets. They are a hybrid between what tablets and what smartphones, and they have much larger screen than a smartphone, but is smaller than phablet. Okay. So all the features of a smartphone also applies to phablet. Tip together with what the typical what features of what a tablet. So here is a hybrid. A hybrid between tablet and smartphone. That's one point. It is also the device size. Let's talk about device. Look at Look at it now. They said all features. He said it, they have much larger screen than a smartphone, but are smaller than a, a tablet. So the device size is between a tablet and a smartphone. Okay, for others, we have is the device device that has the features. Look at it. They say what? All the features of the smartphones also apply to the tablet together with typical features of a tablet. So the device has the features of a smartphone and tablet okay so that is that discuss the advantage of using this tablet rather than a smartphone for this project let's look at the advantage advantage let's look at the advantage how many marks is this? Six. Okay. So, an advantage is one, a tablet has a larger screen. We'll talk about the screen size. A larger screen, a larger screen size. Okay. Larger screen size. So we are looking at to create a newsletter for a history project. So it's easier okay. It's easier to Type the text. Mm -hmm. Another one people let's see poopies poopies. Pupils, okay. Pupils can view. Can view the. Pupils.
project at the same time due to the screen size. So because it is bigger than the size is much larger than um, the smartphone, and I've showed you the difference between it. Look at it right here. So because of this, it's easier for people to view than this. Okay? It's easier for people to view than this. Okay? Um, what other advantage? What other advantage here yeah, can we? What other advantage here is? The on screen. Remember they are both on screen. The on screen keyboard. Okay, it's larger. Making it easy or easier. to enter the data I think do we have one more yeah there's better control better control over the layout of the screen okay disadvantages here disadvantages here talks about it is less possible less portable than a smartphone because the emphasis, the emphasis is being placed. The emphasis is being placed on phablet. What again? The pupils. Are more likely okay to have smartphone with them okay with them okay do we have another one uh, for others um, Okay, I think that's I think that's all I can come up with. Okay. Yes. Thank God there are six. Question six. Many teachers use multimedia projectors in their lesson. State two health issues associated with the use of multimedia projection projectors. Now this is chapter two. Input and output, but the health issue here is just common sense. Um, two health issues as well with the use of multimedia projectors. Um, we have eye problem. If you're looking at the projector for too long, if you're staying at the projector, you're gonna have eye problem. Okay, not for too long. If you're staying at the projector, um, the, the, the light coming from the projector it can cause eye problems. Okay, eye problems. Okay. You have um, headaches, I think headaches, headaches, okay, um, headaches, yeah, I'm not really sure, but I think headaches, yeah, headaches, headaches, yeah, headaches, yeah, okay. Take two safety issues as you say with the use of 
multimedia projectors. So what are those safety issues for multimedia projectors? Now we're talking about um, physical safety, right? Now this is, now under the, the first one, with either multimedia projector, we are looking at it for too long. You can see this in chapter five, under the health risk. Okay, then for the B part, you see this in chapter 8. Okay, we talk about safety and security. I look at the fiscal safety. Okay, look at the fiscal safety. So, safety issues is um, you have um, with the project with the multimedia projector it's possible to trip over so we have tripping a tripping hazard so tripping over trailing cables okay you can have an um, electrocution electrocution okay Cost by what? Cost by sp uh, spilling liquid. Spilling liquid on the projector. Okay. Question seven. A video of a race can be recorded using a camera on an auto autonomous flying vehicle, which is a drone, or in a helicop helicopter. A person will be needed in a helicopter to operate the camera. Describe two advantages and two disadvantages of using autonomous flying vehicle drones to record the race. Okay, to record the race. To record the video of the race. Let's look at one example. The first thing that comes to mind is it is cheaper. The contract is quite expensive. It's cheaper to use a drone rather than using And helicopter. This is chapter. Auto, camera is chapter two. Autonomous flying vehicle, chapter five. For the drones, the drone. Could fly closer to the competitor. Than an helicopter. They can, just can also be used in areas that will not be accessible to, to the helicopter. Okay. Another one disadvantage is it is possible that it can fly out of range. I've seen this in movies, okay, and lose control. Okay, the control signal. Yes, the drones. may be yeah 
it becomes a distraction. As it is closer to the race. If there's a camera problem, it's difficult to fix it and there's no human presence. So let's take note of that. Okay? Eight. State the most appropriate storage medium for its description. Now, a storage medium that stores data on the internet. Now, this is what we call, we'll see this in chapter three, under storage devices and media, talking about the future, future of storage. And also in the beginning part of, still at the part of um, networks and if you're using them, we're talking about um, cloud computing. So yes, the cloud storage. Cloud storage. Anything that stores it on the internet is cloud. So this is, um, this question is chapter three slash and chapter four. You're going to see something there on this internal storage where the current instruction is stored the current instruction is stored is the random access memory ram a solid state storage that is used in digital cameras now the solid state right that is used is this the XD which is extreme digital card or the compact fast which is your CF card okay Talking about memory card. An optical storage that has that stores the highest definition of movies. That's the Blu-ray. Okay, the Blu-ray discs. Okay, and we have three optical. We have um, the compact discs, digital video discs, and then the Blu-ray. This is chapter three. This is chapter three. This is chapter one. This is chap. This is chapter three. So chapter three. This is chapter one. This is chapter one. Okay. Question nine. A hospital administrator enters data from medical forms into a database. A validation and verification are both used when entry data to minimize error. Now, validation, this is proofing. Okay, you see this in proofing. Chapter 15, proofing. Okay, chapter 15, proofing. Explain what is meant by validation and verification and why they are both needed in this scenario. So let's explain. So what's meant by validation? Let's start with that. So, so for validation, a validation, okay, I have validation here. What's the total number of question? Six, okay. So validation, I have just one here, is ensures the data entered are what? Sensible. Now they are also used to ensure that the data mix up what certain word criteria to ensure data entered what fits the system with certain word criteria okay so i can just put this ensures the data entered okay 
Let's see. Okay, I think I'm right there. See it here. Satisfies what certain criteria. Satisfy certain criteria. I have verification. And what verification does is to check that the data entered is identical to the original source okay, to the original document to so check the data enter is identical to what the original document okay it can also ensure that um, it ensures that the data is copied correctly both are needed because so let's look at this because Individually, they cannot detect all errors. Both are needed because if the data is incorrect hmm, it could lead to consequences serious consequences now remember we are relating it to the question look at the question here they said a hospital administrator enter data for medical forms into database so you can't afford to make mistakes okay and also because it is personal data okay and it needs to be correct another one that for others i think i can add others here okay data the data entered should be what free from errors okay to ensure the patient are safe very important because if the patient's details are mismatched it can be very disastrous okay Question 10. The manager of the hotel called Tower has decided to computerize the hotel room's booking system. The new booking system will allow customers to book room online using an app on their smartphone. The manager has employed the same analyst who will carry out research into the coin system. Now this is chapter 6 booking. We are seeing chapter 7. By examining the existing documentation and complete and completed questionnaires from staff, one item of information that data analyst will need to identify is the problem with the current system. State three other items of information that the same analyst will need to identify. 
okay so it needs to identify what input and input I can just make them together Input processing and output of the current system okay also the hardware and what software requirements okay this is of the new system user requirements for the new system now you see this in this is going to be chapter 7 this is chapter 7 right here chapter 7 the system development life cycle you're looking at the analysis phase okay, let's, look, let's look at it then gonna move on there <laughs> okay so this is it right here Look at it right here. So this is what I'm talking about. So I had to just make the addition of input and output. This is these are two. I just have to put them together. Um, user requirement for a new system. Identify the hardware and software for the new system. Information requirement. This is what we are talking about. Okay. Following the analysis, the system analyst will implement the new system using either power running or direct change over. Evaluate this different method of implementation. Okay. Okay, let's evaluate it. So the first one we'll look at is power running. Okay, let's look at the power running. Okay, for power running, it simply means that um, stars. Okay, can be trained gradually. Okay. on the new system of course it takes a longer time also it is expensive to operate as there are what? Two sets of what? Stars operating the system. Okay. If the new system fails, Okay, the old system is still available. Okay, in parallel running, a system is always in place. Okay, so let's look at the direct changeover. 
because we're evaluating. We're looking at both advantage and disadvantage. That, that we we'll talk about evaluation, evaluation. We are judging, looking at advantages, disadvantages. Okay, so direct changeover. Okay, so you have. System got the new, the new system. The new system is thoroughly tested before use. Okay. Now, therefore, less chance of it being what forty. Okay, the next one is immediate benefit. They start seeing the benefit immediately. Okay, so we have immediate benefit. There's an immediate benefit. Okay. Another one is no system will be in place doing um doing the changeover. That's another thing. Um, staffs have to be trained before the new system is implemented, and this is very difficult as they are still working. That's its advantage because staffs have to be trained. So staff have to be trained. before the new system is implemented and this can be difficult Why is this difficult? As they are still working. Okay. Okay, so this is chapter seven. So this is chapter seven. System development life cycle, this is implementation. That's the phase. Okay. Describe the benefits and drop down. The benefit and drawbacks of using an online booking system. So this is chapter six. Okay, ICT application. online booking system which is the booking booking system not online booking system that's what you see there in the textbook booking system so we can have manual system manual booking system so let's see how many marks is this okay let's look at the benefits Okay, it's easier to cancel. This is online, it's easier to cancel. Okay, or even change booking. Two, it is available 24 hours. Okay, okay, that is.
Available 24 hours. There's online help. Okay. For customers. Or how about this? Available 24 hours for customers, okay, to book when they want. Mm -hmm. That's better. It is a faster booking. The faster booking system compared to the manual, as there is no wait in queue. Okay. So, what are the drawbacks? There's also immediate confirmation. You don't have to wait for confirmation, there's immediate confirmation. Or rejection of the booking so I've done four benefits and drawbacks so you have three or two now when you, when you have drawbacks so they need at least two or more so benefits two or more so drawbacks i'm just going to pull one here then the rest is going to be others drawbacks is you need internet yeah you need an internet connection okay now this is for others okay security issue can arise due to what fraud which can lead to a um, fishing okay okay you can or farming rather you can accidentally click on the link and it takes you to another link okay others could be wrong information may be added accidentally okay all right The hotel use both a one and one land. This is chapter four. Talking about networks, okay, and the effects of using them. So this is the type of network. How many marks is this? This is um, four marks. Okay, so describe the differences between a one and a land. So let's start from one. And one means while wide area network okay okay that's the first point anyway so that's the first when they bring things like this that will become that will become your first point so, so that becomes wide area network okay and for why they are network, it makes it of what is satellite technology. Satellite technology. Okay, you can be able to connect computers over a long or a large geographical what area. That's another one. Over a large geographical what area. So take note of that. Um, the wireless. This means wireless. 
wireless local area network okay so the mix of wireless technology essentially wireless technology using our access points right the mix of access points to be able to expand that network okay now another one is because of its wireless area network it can cover a lot of hotel sites where um, you have various access points to connect it to a switch you know at each location and they are connected maybe you have a bridge you know and they can be able to assess it instead of your um, LAN where you have to use your Ethernet cables, um, your audio 45, and then you have to plug to your Ethernet port. It's wired across. You have to do the wiring across, which can be very, very expensive. So whichever one they want to use, this is the difference for that. Okay. Question 11. A clothing retailer only sells its clothes on the internet. Discuss the benefit and drawbacks to the clothing retailer of using internet shopping. This is chapter six, ICT application. And you have internet banking and internet shopping so you see it there internet shopping okay benefit let's look at the benefits let's look at the benefits now for internet shopping right it saves cost Okay, as less staffs are required. Another one is it also save cost of renting. A shop. And since it's internet shopping, you have a larger customer base. Okay. A larger customer base. Okay. Which can... lead to what? Increase profit. Again, the next one I can think of is the selling is not limited. to shop opening hours. It becomes 24 hours. Let's look at the job packs. Job packs need an internet connection. Okay. That means you have to be reliant on technology. You need a um, you need a large warehouse space. 
okay for others okay the operates two four seven that becomes a drawback operates two four seven which increases overheads so you have to pay for that and this relies on customers that only shop online okay so you, you rely on customers that, that shop online and a good example is your Amazon um, here we have Conga, we have Jumia, uh, we have Shopify, okay, um, Shopify, we have um, Alibaba, okay, so yes. A customer is purchasing new clothes from this retailer. Describe the step the customer will take when purchasing the new clothes using internet shopping. So let's look at this. The first thing the person has to do is to load up the website. Yeah, make a visit to the website. Create an account. Okay, log in. To the website. Okay. okay then you browse to the online catalogs you can now click on the item you want you can also enter you can also enter the size of the items how many do you want you can add the item Add the item to cut. Click on checkout. Add a payment method. You can also check the details entered. Okay. And then you can now log out. That's this is optional. This is optional. Okay. So if this is a practical, this is just a practical, and this is also chapter. This is also online shopping as well, okay, which is chapter six. Okay, ICT application, okay, so, yes. Question 12. The manager of a sport club is designing an online form. The manager of a sports club is then an online form for members to enter their personal details. The form will be accessible to all members of the club. State four characteristics of a good form design. Now you are going to see this in chapter 7. System development life cycle. You will see this in the design stage. 
design phase, where you are looking at the input slash output format. Okay. So here you have number one. The first thing I can think of is um, font size, clear. Okay, you should fill up this fill up the screen. That's the first thing. Fill up the screen. You should fill fill up the screen. Okay. That is a good use. Of white space use of navigation buttons okay that is your drop down video button etc etc right so use of navigation buttons okay okay here you could have navigation buttons could be um, drop down okay uh, video buttons Okay. The font size is large enough. It's large enough to read. Okay. That one small large fonts that makes it difficult. And then, very important, appropriate, appropriate size of what? Data entry. Okay, data entry sections. If you're looking for others, uh, you could have five easy data entry. Okay. Six, the use of the help button. Use of the help button is very important. That can help you to navigate how the website or how to help you how you're filling the form. So hope this is clear, okay? Um, use of help button, whenever you fill in a form, most time you see a help button, right? That helps you, maybe you can reach out to them, they can just tell you how um, that form is, what are the things they need in the form, and maybe anything you do, any section you don't understand, any field you don't understand, they get to explain to you better. Okay, stage two characteristics of a good form that will help users with visual impairment to enter their details. Now, visual impairment, um, this is where they're having issues with their eyesight, and this is traceable to, take note of this, chapter 9, we'll talk about the older adults. Okay? Here it is. Chapter 9 of the textbook. Um, need of needs of an audience. Here you have the other others where they have with visual impairment. Okay, so here you have larger fonts. Okay, you can use larger fonts, which is fonts, the font size. Is large enough to read? It can use a voice entry. 
can help them. Voice entry. Use of ticks. Okay, this is for others. Okay, I've answered two already. Okay, let me just go. Okay. So for others, I have let's scroll down. Let's look at this. Larger fonts are constructing colors. Easier to distinguish words. Okay, easier to distinguish words. Okay, constructing colors. To use of constructing colors okay again buttons the buttons are large enough to see okay so this is very, very important chapter 9 is audiences and here you see that this is under the types of the needs of an audience. Okay, see here. The needs of an audience or the needs of the audience. What do you mean we are designing a website? Okay. All right. Any other one? Okay. I think that's all. So we've been able to look at each question and for each of the questions, we looked at each of the chapters. Okay. And where these questions and which area of the chapters that they're coming from to help you with your personal studies or group studies as you go through this video. Please watch them again and again. Because then again, that would explain a whole lot when you're studying for your paper one and then you know the chapters to just lay your emphasis on. Thank you very much. All right. I want to talk about a very important YouTube channel called HL Tech. Trust me, this YouTube channel is, is a giveaway. It's loaded with IGCC, ICT, O level, AS, and A level. So trust me you is a giveaway this is this channel is helpful for your um group studies your personal studies and it, ha it has a proven track record of producing excellent results so do me a favor click on the subscribe button okay and share this youtube channel with your friend trust me that will be the best gift that you are giving to them thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye